So I was working on a paper last night and one pop-up came up, learn any language in 90 minutes or less, become fluent. And I was wondering what fluent really meant. I mean, are they going to teach me one word? Could they help me pass an exam in whatever language they wanted me to learn? And then it hit me that people call music the universal language and yet no one really knows what fluent means with that. I mean, yes, people learn one instrument and stop there, you know, they learn guitar, piano, even voice, but what's it mean to dig deeper within that? My name is Michael and I'm a freshman in the college. Um, I learned piano when I was six and I stopped because I was learning classical piano and I wanted friends. Um, <laughs> so afterward I was getting very stressed out in schoolwork, you know, trying to get here and I wanted a vacation, a passion, so I went back to music. You know, I learned all the basic stuff in classical piano, Amazing Grace. You know, whatever, all that. But it seemed very bland, and I wanted to, like, add dimensions to that. So I learned, you know, saxophone through the school program, learned how to understand chord changes. I learned guitar and bass. I taught myself those to understand how to be able to take rhythmic liberties along with when I learned how to make house music and drums into beatbox, it helps to be able to learn all these different dimensions. And then I learned other band instruments to be able to master melodic interpretation. And that's really helped me progress and add dimensions to my music. So now I can go. And to be able to add all of that, now, what I want to say is that there are many musicians out there that would stop at one instrument, would stop at even two, but you could always keep going, and even I am a work in the making, that you could always be able to push yourself with music.